morning and welcome back again to my channel um yeah we have here today a 4l65 automatic gearbox problem with this is really huge ship shock and second gear uh, there is no trouble code on it h2 hammer uh, so we're gonna strip this one apart and see how it goes all the bosings here we need to replace this bosing also because it's worn out so we have all the new so we're gonna assemble this gearbox okay that's it i'll just show you how to install it so we already replaced our bosing on the output shaft it's the old one here We lubricate first before we put it on the flat nest of the bearing will go this way yeah or they call it low and reverse inner disc and outer disc outer disc means it is a steel plate and inner disc means a friction Now we can assemble the uh, reaction carrier assembly. So the bearing is going uh, facing down. So that. Yeah. Good. Next is the low and reverse uh, friction and plate now we're gonna assemble the low and reverse plate and frictions you can see here there is a slot there's a slot in here if this slot won't uh, uh, goes to the proper uh, position so we're gonna put that one and then we have inner disc or friction then another plate so we're gonna put friction plate friction plate friction plate until we put the center support uh, uh, friction plate friction plate friction now our now our center support uh, low and reverse forget this one because it's so hard for you to fit this one with the center support already in place so you need to put this one in here on the valve body case side that's the only location you can put that one anyway just push this one and it will go down just press that spring that I showed you a while ago just press it to compress the thing it will align to where the center support uh, spring so our uh, uh, one week flat uh, plastic 
oke okay. washer dan so all the lips of the outer race of the bearing race will gonna uh, face it on the action uh, carrier assembly so it works that way then put it on low and reverse by applying pressure on it put our front planetary carrier and the bearing the same thing the bearing is facing down the inner lip of the bearing race will be facing down and the outer is facing up like that yep. snapping cap it's always have a new snap ring for the output shop including the Next is our input shaft. 